Hello and welcome, Volcarona fans, to week three of the Draft Rig Bolt League. Uh, following two pretty successful weeks where we managed to go 5 0 against Canop and the Great Tusks, and then follow it up with a comprehensive 6 0 victory over Descender and the Chandelures, we find ourselves matched up against uh, Rampoir. Ramp Rampair, I don't know how to say their name, uh, and the Rapid City Rampados. They unfortunately suffered a loss last week, a very good match against King. Um, if you wanted to check that out, that video is up on our channel. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to take this match up for granted. We are 2-0. We're sitting pretty, pretty good up the top of the leaderboard. Uh, at the moment, but let's not let the foot off the gas. It's only a six week regular season and we probably need four wins to make the playoffs, I would imagine. But um, yeah, uh, this, uh, let's have a look at the matchup here. So if we take a look here, this team's quite top heavy. There's only 10 Mons drafted as opposed to my 11. And the bottom three, I don't see making an appearance. He has used the top six Mons in both of his first two rounds. Kamoa with Terra is terrifying. <laughs> uh, Superior is also very good. Iron Moth, crazy of, as always. And of course the Palafin is one of my major headaches in this matchup, the priority Jet Punch if he happens to be Choice Banded which I believe he ran last week, but things could change here. But nonetheless, Choice Band, Jet Punch is very annoying and also obviously Wave Crash is a bit of a problem too. But we do have one very good answer to Palafin, which we will get into shortly. Um, as you can see here, he's sitting equal six with a one-on-one -on -one record and an even differential, and we are equal first. There is another team that is also two and nine plus 11. Crazy, right? Um, but Frostmoth and Brawloon have all our kills, both coming to one game and each getting six kills. Um, on their side, I think it's, like I said, the top six are definitely carrying the load here. Mark Alola, uh, Lola? Yeah, I think it's a Lola. He is also a very good Mon here, with only one weakness, the same type as Mrs. Puff, uh, who... You know what, let's jump into our team here. So, doing things a little different here. I've got it up like this. Tell me if people like this, or would they prefer to have it up uh, in-game like I did last time. But, nonetheless, let's take a look what we've got here. So, our main counter to the Palafin is that Politoed there with Water Absorb. Uh, obviously, it can cancel out any water moves that he wants to spam. I imagine he's going to expect I bring the rain, and in rain, Palafin goes insane, uh, even against resistant hits like on Politoed, Rascal Legion, and Salamence. And obviously, it, it would just about kill everything if I had rain. Um, so we actually have a fling light ball set. The plan with this is to bring in Politoed on the Dolphin. Hopefully it forces a switch into either Superior or Kamoa. And we can fling that light ball on it and paralyze it. That's kind of the plan here in Perish Songs, obviously, if, um, Kamoa tries to set up in our face. Um, I have been told this is about an hour before the match. My team is all locked in, so nothing has happened since then or anything, but I have been told it is a normal Kamoa. So I imagine it's going to be a Goomba set. Probably Clangor Soul. Um, which we, we do have another mon for that, but we'll get to that later. So Politoes is kind of our wall there. Uh, I would love to have had Breast Chesto, but I feel like this is a bit more aggressive and it sets up for some other mons I have later down the road. Um, Kilowattrol is our choice Scarf user. It is faster than everything on their team, obviously except for Jet Punch, um, but Electric and Flying hits everything on their team. 
So a lot of Vault Switching and Thunderbolts, I imagine, will come out today from Wally. Um, just a lot of pivoting stuff. I'll probably lead with Kilowattrel. I imagine he will probably look to lead the Dolphin, and that's just a free um, Vault Switch, and then see what he does. He doesn't have a ground type, so nothing to stop me from Vault Switching now. I'm also competitive in case that Gardevoir comes and is Trace. I don't want a Vaulted Sword um, Gardevoir to cancel out my Vault Switch spamming. Vasculation with agility. Uh, after an agility, it does outspeed everything scarfed. So, you know, we should outspeed everything. <laughs> um, Last Respects hits uh, their entire team except for the normal Kamoa, but in that case, Wave Crash should do a lot. Uh, Life Orb, bit of extra damage. That's a pretty straightforward set adapt ability. Uh, Diancy, that should be stell Stellar Terror. It cannot Terra Rock. Um, but we have Diamond Storm, Stealth Rock, Trick Room, and Body Press. Just a max defense set. Uh, it can 1v1 the Palafin. Crazy, right? If I have a Diamond Storm boost up and the Pasho Berry, obviously. But, you know, it's kind of just there to just be a, be a bit annoying. Set up some hazards. He doesn't have a ton in the way of removal. It can also, unless the... Corviknight somewhat offensive with Iron Head or something. It can also just kind of sit on that too. Um, but yeah. Uh, then we have Graffari making his debut. So after this match, we will have used every single more on our roster once, at least. And only Basque Legion has come to all three. But in the previous two matches, it's only used Flip Turn twice. So it's a barely really done anything. This set's fun. Um, I'm excited about this one. I hope it actually works out. So, Psych Up, Sludge Wave, Endeavor, and Terror Blast, but I can't Terror with this. This is in case there's a special Kamalo that kind of goes crazy, or a Calm Mind Gardevoir, or Superior gets to like plus four or even plus six with the um, Contrary Leaf Storm. Uh, it can come in, pop the Focus Sash as I click Psych Up copy the stats and then if the Palafin is gone and there's no priority on their team, this can potentially just sweep. Um, Assault Vest Muck Alola is the only other thing that can really tank one of these hits. And also Corviknight, I think Terra Blast, it's the strongest special attacking normal move that Graffari gets. I think it does about 60% to Corviknight. So, you know, it's like if we have chip on, if we have chip on Corviknight, the dolphin's gone, and we copy a plus six or even a plus four boost from Superior, then Graffari could have a lot of fun here. <laughs> uh, it's kind of my failsafe red button. Please don't sweep me, Mon. <laughs> Uh, Salamence is probably the win con this time. If anyone's going to sweep here, it's probably him, or her, I should say. Uh, Dragon Dance, Dual Wing Beat, Terra Blast, Electric. That is our Terramon and Roost. We have Lumberry. Just in case of the Makalola coming and poisoning us, I don't think... I couldn't really think of any other item. I could have run Leftovers or something like that, but I only really need... As I mentioned with the Killer I only really need Flying and Electric to hit everything on his team. Um, but yeah, this is a team that I'm, you know, there's some creativity in there. I'm pretty excited about what could happen here. Hopefully that's a good game on both sides. Uh, like I said, this is about an hour before our match. So I'm going to stop the recording here. And then when we come back, we'll be straight into the battle. So stay tuned. All right, here we go, Volcarona fans. We're about to jump into the match here. Uh, I'll just let the opponent know we are searching. Uh, yep, so searching now. There's our squad that we all just went over. If you skipped that, you should go back and look at that. <laughs> um, yeah, should be a good game here. Hopefully, Graffari or Salamence. I mean, everyone here can probably do... I, I don't expect Politoed to get more than one kill, maybe. 
but everyone else can potentially have a game here. <laughs> uh, we'll wait and see. Still searching here. Um, regardless of what he brings, I'm probably almost certainly going to leave with Kilowattro. Okay, so we see the Palafin, Kamoa, Gardevoir, Corviknight, Iron Moth, and Superior. So that's the top six um, that I kind of thought he might bring. So let's go with Kilowattro here. I'm expecting the Palafin lead just to get the um, get the hero form happening for him. But, uh, we shall see. So if he does lead that and clicks Jet Punch and he's banded, it's actually going to do a good chunk. But regardless, let's just jump into it here. It'll probably do about 55 to 65. That's, that's in the base power from form. That thing's crazy. It's so strong. <laughs> He does go Palafin. Shiny, nice. Definitely not Gen. Uh, let's get this health bar up. Might actually just give it a touch. Uh, yeah, it's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, it still gives us a pretty good estimate here. Uh, we can just click Volt Switch. There's no ground type on his team. Okay, so he withdraws. We've got some uh, momentum here early. Goes into Superior. What's our switch into Superior? Okay, so that did about mm, 20. Maybe a bit less than 20. Uh, Salamence. Got the Dragon Pulse though. I might still go for it. Um, Superior Dragon Pulse does what to us? To sell mounts. Yeah, about 50. I might go for this. Let's do it. It'd be great if he went for like Blair or something. Um, I'm gonna stay Dragon and Dragon Dance up here. Yeah. So this will do about 50. Oh, that's crit? What? Oh, it's Life Orb. Wow, okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, dual wing bait, yeah, have to. Okay, so that's a pretty big threat gone. But it did do a lot to me. Uh, you can go out to Palafin and just press Jet Punch now, which sucks. does a lot. Ah, uh, 34. What percent am I at? 32. Okay, so this does guarantee kill. Okay, we're gonna go into our switch him. Okay, now he has to switch, and we go for Fling. Hopefully Kamoa. I mean, Iron... No, it won't be Iron Moth. Maybe Corviknight? Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll take this. Good power. Up.
good para. Um, probably going to have U turn, but I am going to perish some in case it starts setting up the iron defense junk. So, uh, I mean, Surf might do a bit. Corviknight. Surf does about 25. Uh, let's let's go for Parish Song. Okay, that's good. Um, not a ton of switch-ins to an ice move. I suspect he's going to U turn. Let's go for Ice Beam. Maybe Kamalo. Kamalo would be fantastic here. Ooh, I like that. Nice, good chip. Ah, uh, Kamoa, let's see how bulky this thing is. So Ice Beam did about 40%. So that's a low roll if it's got no bulk. Um, I'm going to anticipate Boom Burst. So, Diancy's probably my answer. So he does Terra. We actually kill with Body Press here, and we can live a second one. I could have gone into Vasculation, but I kind of want to say, oh, that did nothing. Yummy. It is Throat Spray. Um, yeah, Body Press kills here. So, I mean, do I trick room first? No, let's just, let's just body press. Let's just get this kill. So this shouldn't do a lot. Crit? Or is that just, yeah, crit. Damn. Oh, what? Okay, that crit sucks. I guess I just revenge with this. Just on the off chance he goes predict something, let's get some rocks up. Yeah, okay. That's fine. So Kamoa gets a kill. Sadly, Diancy got. It's either a low roll or a very. Oh, not that. This one. Uh, we can just Volt Switch. Should get the drop done, I imagine. Yeah. Okay, so Kilowattro gets a kill. Okay, um... Tricky one now. If we go this, he'll bring out Iron Moth. I can't really set up on it. Oh, I suppose I can set up on the core on it. Let's go this. Hopefully, he brings out Powerfin.
I don't think he will bring out Palathon. He should bring out the Iron Moth, and that probably kills with a Sludge Wave. Gardevoir, is it Scarf? Is this Scarf? How interesting. I mean, I can just... I can just tear off? And Terra Blast? That's a good chunk. Or I can roost up and see what he does. If it's Scarf, I'm just gonna die, so that's fine. Let's 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 roost and see what he does. If it's Scarf, okay, so it's not Scarf. Hopefully, he calm minds. Yes, that's not gonna cut it. Um, I'm gonna dragon dance. Probably got Psy Shock. Uh, it might kill. Uh, let's roost it. Let's roost again, and see what happens. Okay, Carmine's good, actually. Do I get really greedy here and click Dragon Dance? No need, I don't think. Uh, although, at plus one... Let's just let's just get some damage on this thing. We'll go for Terra Blast and just not miss. Yeah, good chunk. Okay, I'll I'll take this trade. Ah, uh, that might not kill actually. Oh, and it's left those. Okay, so I'm not gonna kill here. I might still go for it. And then I can just revenge with this. Let's just let's just do this. There's a very low chance I can live. Okay, Gardevoir gets that kill. That's unfortunate. I feel like that was two pretty favorable rolls, but that's okay. It's four apiece right now. Actually, got a lot of health here. Could go and get this. Let's go for it. So we'll copy the stat. Okay, so it's plus one special defense. Could kill, actually. I can just go for this. Let's go for it. Ah!
So we didn't get to, I mean, if he doesn't bring out the power pen. If he brings out the Corva Knight, we can endeavor, which is pretty cool. Uh, Terra Blast is the logical thing in case that Corva Knight comes out. So let's go for Terra Blast. Grakarai gets a kill. Okay, so if this isn't the pal- if it is the pal, then we go into Politoed. If there's anything else, we press Endeavor. Okay, we press Endeavor on this. That's great. That's great. We're definitely faster. We're on third. Amazing. Endeavor. Iron Moth gets a kill. Uh, then we go kill a Watch Roll. And press Volt Switch again. So kill a Watch Roll gets another kill. Did we go this now? Probably time, yeah. Go this. He has to go call the night and do what? Okay, let's go this. We have three dead, so uh, that's how much? 200 base power? That's so crazy. Nothing he can do kills me in last respects does kill. We don't even have to, um... Oh, we're faster. Okay, Vascular Legion gets that kill. And we should kill the Corviknight too. It might live. Nope. Basque Legion finishes off. Good game. That was a close one. It was a lot closer than the scoreline suggests. Um, Great game to Wealth or Rampoir, I believe their name in the server is. Um, yeah, close one. The Rampados, I'm expecting big things from them this season, but um, we managed to pick up a 4-0 victory and move to 3-0 plus 15 as we head into our Week 4 match against Phoebe. So, yeah, looking forward to that one, and thanks for tuning in. If you have any thoughts or suggestions or tips please leave me in the comments um congratulate my opponent and the question of the day to make sure you're all watching i hope you're all tuned in here if in honor of our rampados coach on the other side please let me know in the comment section of the youtube video below what your favorite fossil pokemon is i'm personally a big archaeops fan um, I think it's so cool. Its ability has to nerf it, but it's still so great. Um, but yeah, very good draft league mod as well if you're in a nat dex draft. But um, yeah, again, thank you for tuning in and look forward to seeing you next week.